move straight on to our closing plenary because we are recording this so we can send it out afterwards because we're going to hear now um, about innovation across the world and a really exciting opportunity to find out more about what's going on across the world in innovation, in cooperatives. And I'm delighted that the reason we, we, we're moving on as fast as possible is our next guest does have a plane to catch <laughs> about six o'clock, so we are going to keep going. But he's flown in especially to talk to us uh, today. I'd like to welcome to the stage Jean-Louis Boncel, who's the Honorary President of the Credit Cooperative and Chair of Foundation of Credit Cooperative, John, John Louis, welcome. At our 2022 event in Paris, cooperatives told us, we want to act now to lead, fight climate change, and maximize the benefits of an innovative and digital society. Listen. Come to Montreal for the 2023 Global Innovation Co-op Summit. Together, we will show how cooperatives lead the way to promote a more circular economy in our increasingly digital world. We are giving cooperatives the space to learn, share ideas, and collaborate to now on important global and local issues. We will have workshops to build a Global Innovation Co-op Summit community of practice so we all can continue sharing innovative ideas throughout the years. Come to Montreal and pledge to act now for a circular and digital cooperative future. Hello everyone. I'm so glad to be back here in Manchester. It has been so many times being here. Uh, uh, I'm so glad to be with you. It has been a pleasure. I couldn't, I couldn't attend yesterday, but uh, what I learned, what I saw today was so interesting. And of course, you were talking about innovation on ground, but also exchanging. And what we're proposing, what I'm here for today, is take that at the international level. So uh, I'm a founder with other colleagues of the uh, Global Innovation Co-op Summit which is an idea that came out in the times. I've been involved at the French level, European level, international level for many years in the international movement. And I've seen, and I'm still seeing, so many wonderful, interesting innovations, what we have seen last year, but all this day, I'm sure, yesterday too. And sometimes we believe Everything is not perfect in the corporate world, for sure. But there are so wonderful things uh, that's going on that we felt with my colleagues from Canada, from Brazil, from Portugal, and myself, that our duty, being cooperators, is trying to gather people together just to build up a better world. So my, some of you might have attended uh, the Quebec uh, summit. It was in 22, 2014 and 16. Those huge events were very, very inspiring to the cooperative movement. And, okay, for many reasons it stopped and we wanted to rebuild something from there. And what we decided would, we would focus on something which is very gathering and even very wide, innovation whichever type of innovation. So uh, I was wondering, uh, is it a good topic? So an idea came to me. I went on, how do you call it? Chat Guru PowerPoint, that's it, Chat GPT, Ch Guru PowerPoint. So I asked uh, the Chat GPT, will the corporate, cooperative be able to compete with the rich and powerful GAFAM? And I've got an answer from the Guru PowerPoint, six, point, six bullet points telling, yeah, we're good. And 
The fifth one is innovation and differentiation. Co-ops can foster innovation and differentiate themselves in the marketplace by leveraging the cooperative structure and member engagement. They can develop innovative products, services, or business model that address unmet needs or provide unique value proposition. Cooperatives that embrace technological advancement and sustainable practices can further differentiate themselves and appeal to a growing market segment. That's exactly the purpose of this meeting and, of course, of Global Innovation Cop Summit. Global Innovation Cop Summit is first a gathering occasion. It's pulling together people from all around the world, all the sectors, but are not only co-ops. Academics, non-co-ops, but people who work or are interested in co-ops. We started this uh, new startup. Uh, it was not a, the good year, 20, 2020, COVID. It was not very helpful. But then last year we started. We had the pleasure to have, uh, from the beginning, COPS UK being a sponsor. And many thanks for being with us. Mid County is also one of our sponsors. And Cooperative College is involved with us too. And so this year is getting to the American uh, continent in, New in Montreal uh, on the, at the end of September. You will be uh, very much welcome if ever you come. Uh, we have room uh, where we'll be hosted by HEC Montreal, which is a management school there, a brand new building which is not yet open. I'm going to see it next week, so we're going to see, I hope it's going to work. Uh, and it's not only gathering 300 people together. We'll have, as you have heard, breakout sessions, smaller groups, working together on three topics, okay, circular economy, data, and how to govern or to be involved in a democratic, in a cooperative way or democratic way on innovation, which is not sometimes very well understood. Not only that, in there, there will be pledges for trying to work for the after Montreal, and we will launch a community of practices. And I'm quite sure one of the topics we will be asked to work on an international basis will be artificial intelligence. I'm sure what, from what I heard today, many discussions we're having, this is the growing up topics. So uh, that's one example, but there will be other topics we will work on an international basis. And not only in between the events, we will work in this community of practice. That means that if ever, for some, some reasons, you are not able to come to, to Montreal end of September, you might join us next year somewhere in Europe. But this is still a secret. I don't tell when and where. You have to come to Montreal to know where will be the next meeting. So, it was a pleasure for me to be with you. I learned a lot. I still found some friends ready to fight for the cooperative uh, spirit and values. Thanks a lot for what you are for what you are doing. We need more cops, more innovation in cops, and come to Montreal to enhance this uh, movement. Thanks, Rose, for the invitation, and all the best to all of you. I know it's weekend time. <laughs> Merci. Thank you so much.